Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Eden time. 18 streak. I'm very scared about how this starts. Please just decent HP. That's decent HP. We got left hand, Spelunker's head, spider butt. It's easy enough to sort out for ourselves there. AJCYNQRF. Spider butt, Spelunker's head is like the most average Eden start. I could possibly exp- Oh, jeez. Uh, and I gotta be honest with you, uh, damage doesn't seem that good, but our rate of fire maybe seems like one tick above average. At this point, I'm just- I'm, I trust my senses. <laughs> you know, I've- I've done enough, uh, Eden runs, just seeing if there's a place, maybe there's a Tinted Rock hidden there. Um, I've- I've done enough Eden runs that I- I trust my internal barometer for how good our- our starting, uh, HP and damage are. Disappointed that I used Spider Butt on that room where I probably should not have used Spider Butt when it turns out it would have probably gotten us uh, an easy ticket through this room. We're going for 19 right now, and in, in a way, this sounds overly cocky, but it's just statistically likely that this is actually what will determine whether or not we get to 20. The Isaac run, I, I'm probably bad in like close to 90% of those Isaac runs at least. You know, usually when we lose a streak, it's not on the Isaac run. It's on a Judas run where I fuck up in the early game, or it's on Eden run where we get, you know, shitty starting HP, or we ran up the Lost, etc, etc, etc. It does happen, but um, this is the all-important linchpin to see if we get into the, the 20s here. That's either a huge help or an incredible problem, depending on your perspective of things. Uh, I tend to think that that's very, very good. And... Also, uh, that combined with spider butt so we can like slow enemies is is solid as well, but we should probably play it a little cool on running into enemies consistently until we have a little bit more HP or something, but for now, um, what do you think? Second secret room or first secret room? It's the first time we've ever had to really face this in a, in a little while at least, but uh, we'll do so after the boss room just in case we get bombs back from it. And I think, yeah, probably immediately we are going to give up... Uh, Spider butt for the ability to fly. There we go. Sacrificial dagger. Actually, loving it more and more as time goes on here. Just get a little closer. It doesn't matter if you hit him with the handle of the knife, as long as you hit him with the knife in general. There we go. Very, very nearly dead. Couple more hits. Being able to fly here is going to be very, very helpful. Sorry, spider butt. It was good while it lasted, but uh, I'll take an active ability to fly. It doesn't bother me. Try our second secret room for an eternal heart, maybe? Ooh, three of the same pill. Two of the same pill. Well, could be worse, I guess. Yeah, we'll just go. I mean, there's nothing else for us on this floor that I can see. Uh, maybe we could do the self-sacrifice room or something like that, but let's not get too crazy about things. This is a very important floor for us. If we... Ooh, let's see what's going on in here. I like it. If we can get through this floor without getting hit, life's good. Yes, exactly what I was hoping for there. We can actually use uh, the Pony plus Sacrificial Dagger to do an awful lot of damage if we're able to uh, time our rotation of the Sacrificial Dagger properly, basically. Let's stay farther away than I'm actually doing right now. It's smart for me to do so. Let's not forget about our Eternal Heart either. That's important, but for now, most important thing is just surviving. And not taking damage. Surviving, number one. Not taking damage, a pretty close number two. Because an early deal with the devil, especially considering we have some HP uh, coming our way no matter what via the Eternal Heart. And who knows what we get from the boss room. Uh, it's good. Now, we definitely should not get too close to this guy right here. He means trouble. But I mean business. That's not very good. Neither was that joke, but that's okay. If I sound a little tense... I am a little tense, I gotta be honest, I, I'm a little nervous about uh, what, what could possibly happen on this run. I'm happy to have the left hand, I'm not gonna get rid of that. Uh, it would be terrible if I lost this run. I'm not a guy who normally resorts to, you know, overarching, kind of over, overly grandiose sentiments like that, but for real, I would be super disappointed if he lost this run after putting on a, a really good show to get those first 18 wins. And of course, we still got to do the Isaac one after this, no matter what. But anyway, um, also, this is like my... I've been recording a lot today. I'm not trying to complain or anything like that, but I was like, man, I'm feeling so in the zone on Isaac. I probably should stop working today, but it would be awesome to like just knock out one more win while I'm feeling in the zone, you know, while I'm feeling confident. I think that's the ticket, man. That Different people, uh, you know, have different ways that they like to, to do things. For me, it's like when my motivation is high, 
work your butt off, or at least, you know, not even just work, but whatever it is. You know, if you really want to play basketball today, play a shitload of basketball. And then, if, if you've already accomplished your other responsibilities, of course. And then, you know, you might not want to play basketball for two weeks after that. But, because you played basketball for eight hours, you know, your skills have not diminished. You know what I mean? It's like studying. When I was in university, I was always like, you know, five nights of the week I don't feel like studying. One night a week I'll, I'll literally just study for like 14 hours or something like that. So, strike when the iron's hot, I guess is what I'm trying to say, at least for my own personal tastes. Uh, pin should be easy enough. Let's not get close, because that's, that's just how we die. I do want to use the active effect. That's what I was looking for right there, and it went perfectly. Synth oil, a huge pickup as well. Yes. Uh, I know that we can already fly. I'm not super thrilled about the fact that this is going to give us Ouija board. You know, a too hard Ouija board is a shit deal, man. Um, however, now we can take any other spacebar item. We're basically... We paid two spirit hearts, or sorry, two red hearts, for the ability to take a space bar item. And the only reason I did this is because I know that we have um, the eternal heart waiting for us. I actually do want to shoot all this. Because we have that eternal heart waiting for us, we are not going to be on one HP. We're going to be on two HP, which is a huge difference because one HP means you might not be able to make one mistake. At most, you can make one mistake and the second mistake will fuck you. Um, I want to not use our bomb if possible in order to get what I assume is a spirit heart, and I got lucky that it was. I'm sorry, donation machine, but it's got to be done here. We need the spirit heart. Uh, okay. We can, we can be a little sneaky here. I'm going to go to the curse room first, and then I can use hematomesis on the, after we come out. I was just going to say, please don't be spiders. But if we get hit by a spider, God forbid... We do have the hematomesis pill, which actually could be valuable. We don't even need to use the hematomesis pill on our way out. I really thought we'd maybe, you know, get something there, though. Um, we'll take our eternal heart. I don't even think we need the spirit heart. Do we want the spirit heart? Well, it depends what else we're... Oh, that might have been good to come in this room before. That depends on what else we can get. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> well, we definitely, like, don't want the boomerang. I think we just leave, man. And hopefully pick up a spirit heart early on the next floor. But but for now, this is okay, you know. It, we haven't really improved ourselves all that much. The synth oil pickup aside, that's that's very nice. But um, let's, let's keep ourselves sharp, not get hit if we can avoid it. We don't know that, so it could be bad trip. Really? I'm displeased by this revelation. Uh, but luckily, there is a, uh, a shop directly in front of us. Which for me is basically like an opportunity to buy, uh, hopefully, a spirit heart. There is no spirit heart. It's an opportunity to maybe buy the map. We'll talk about that if we get more money. This is a scary situation, man. That health down pill could have much larger repercussions than even it knows. Fuck it, let's do it. We can go to the... This is a tricky situation. I want to maintain our chance to go to the deal with the devil. Even though it's unlikely, a nine lives pickup is so huge for us. A lot of items are huge for us. Um, but we could go to the curse room and then... Um, pop out with the hematomesis pill. And that's basically us being back at full HP. And maybe having some other red hearts that we can draw from if necessary. But I'd, I'd rather wait until after the boss fight if applicable but the curse room could give us some spirit hearts through it or black hearts through a variety of different means so you know that may actually be the right way to do it uh but it's it's currently and presently a very scary situation maybe there's a black heart in here that'll make me feel a whole lot better about it more pills is there a health down oh there might have been oh oh come on Oh! It's beautiful. And that one was bad trip, but it actually turned into full health for us. Oh, that's huge. So, we didn't actually take bad trip, so it shouldn't count as red heart damage. Gertie Jr., no! We're fast. That's our main advantage here. We have synth oil, and we're fast. 
So all we need to do is stay on the other side of the map as Gertie Jr. Mission almost fucking failed there. Um, and we did it. We didn't get a deal with the devil. We got some speed and shot speed. Uh, it's okay. It's not that incredible, but it's okay. Um, let's, uh, we can almost buy the map. We need like one bomb to be able to do so. Let's go to our curse room. We might as well have done that earlier, but it, it doesn't matter now. What's done is done, and we, we came out on the other side pretty well. Picked up effectively two HP on this floor, which is extremely nice. Uh, got, you know, a ways to go when it comes to actually making this a for sure one run, but we have some leverage as well. We can get rid of our spacebar item without compromising the quality of the run to a large extent. We can go to that double key room and possibly re-roll our whole run, which scares the crap out of me. But admittedly, this run is not great enough to make that, you know, impossible to do. Two re-rolls all consumables on that individual room. Might seem terrible, but there are a lot of pots. Unfortunately, we don't have the bombs necessary to really swing it. Hmm. Is that another health up? That's a, <laughs> another range down. Close, though. Um... Amnesia, huh? At least it's an early floor. Here's what I'm thinking. We got a room with some red hearts on it. Let's use hematomesis on the two room and then basically effectively d20 it and hopefully pick up some good stuff as a result. This is one of the more novel uses I can possibly imagine for the hematomesis. Oh, that was dumb. For the hematomesis pill. Why did I hit spacebar there? What was going through my mind? That's all right. We're, I think we're making good decisions and the game's not making it easy on us. I walked on top of it before using hematomesis. I started a joke that started the whole world crying. Only I didn't see that the joke was not on me. It was literally me. That's okay. We're out of here in a fairly decent time set. Time set? You know what I mean. We should be expecting uh, a... 50% chance, roughly, maybe 66%, uh, oh, repeating, of course, chance of a deal with the devil on the next floor. And that deal with the devil could start to be extremely important. Uh, we got we got shit to accomplish starting now, though. Like, we don't need to worry about waiting for the boss room to have this floor, uh, you know, be meaningful. Had a lot of runs where we got carried early. We are not in those situations presently. We got two abilities to fly. That's one more than I should have paid for, but we're stuck with that decision now. Hey, come down here. Come down. No, you don't. Here. This way. Yeah, you got it. Pretty good. Uh, no, I need you to come down here. Here. No, you don't understand. Like, a little, little bit more this way. Perfect. Perfect. No, no. Ah, you fucked it. And you fucked me in the process. You dick. That's bad, but at least we got through it. Um... We might as well go to our library first, because we can give up items now. Oh, it's majestic. What's better? Book of Revelations, Book of Sin. Book of Sin gives us a penny. Oh, beautiful. Uh, you know, we got Telepathy for Dummies. We got, obviously, the Bible. But the real deal here is Book of Revelations. No question about it. Huge library. And by Book of Revelations, I mean Book of Belial. Non-stop deals with the devil, extra damage bonus when our tier damage is kind of subpar right now. Um, has the potential to be extremely valuable. Now, I'm going to make a little bit of a gamble. And we're going to pop hematomesis and then immediately go into this room. And uh, I'm, I'm happy with how this worked out because we lost a black card and picked up six troll bombs. So, that's pretty exciting. Um, it's, a, it's a historic room, certainly. Uh, historically bad. It's the worst of the three red chest rooms you could possibly imagine. It's the last member of the red chest crew. Now, I'm not gonna use uh, Book of Belial in this room, because I think our boss fight is close by. If I had known, he would have... Oh, shit, yeah, this is the this issue. The issue? <laughs> this is the problem that I was gonna talk about, but if I would known that we were gonna um, take damage on this room... I would have not uh, popped that hematomesis option. However, we're still fine because we have the, the spirit heart and we have enough HP back here to take us out of this tailspin. More than enough. So, even though, it, oh my god, even though it wasn't uh, necessarily great for us, we did it and it went fine. All right, fine. We got an extra key. Let's try it. This is a six room. There we go. We did it. 
We got Death's Touch, Rubber Cement, Blue Baby's only friend, Dark Bum. I think this reroll has turned out nicely for us. We also got another Hematomesis pill, which I'm not going to ask questions about. But it does seem a little strange. Um, how does this run look now? Blue Baby's only friend solves our damage-related problem. We went from two abilities to fly to no abilities to fly. But now that I think about it, for one key we can get the pony back. Or we could go Book of Revelations. You know what? I think with Blue Baby's only friend... What happened to our pony? These all got rerolled. Oh, because it's all the rooms combined, you ding dong. Of course. Okay, can we do this? <laughs> can we do this without using a key? I don't think so. That's not fully charged. What do you think? Well, we, we don't have any other options. This Satanic Bible is probably our best option here. You can say Book of Sin as well. But we may actually come pretty close to being able to reroll our libraries. Oh, we won't actually be able to reroll them, I should say. Uh, but rather, we can, um, what am I getting at here? It must have been the four room that re-rolled all those, I guess, now that I think about it. But, um, we can't re-roll all our libraries, but if we pick up all the books, if a library shows up in the future, there might not be any or many books to choose from. So, I think this was actually a huge turn of events for us. And I'm excited by our, our chance here. I think our re-roll might have turned... A difficult uh, run into a run that maybe is a little bit simpler. A run that has a great chance for us to really achieve good things on. There's our item room, so I'm thankful we still have some keys. Uh, Death's Touch plus Rubber Cement is a funny combination that's kind of bad. Because our piercing shots don't go directly through enemies. They bounce off at weird angles. Most of the time, that's going to work to our detriment. Two extra spirit hearts doesn't, though. Nor does the Halo. So it might take a little longer uh, for our situation to kind of resolve itself to the point where our tears are doing more than blue baby's only friend but even if our tears never do more than blue baby's only friend this is still more damage than we were doing you know recently so happy to have it extra dime there for free gives us uh, a shop item and no sooner than we could have uh, asked for it for sure i think this is a good opportunity to use hematomesis Admittedly, I would have liked to have played the Blood Bank more, but I think that worked out. I forgot that we had Dark Bum. It takes a little while to get used to what you got going on. We're also generating spiders from time to time. Steam Sale. I think that's uh, that Steam Sale is probably the result of... Sorry, the uh, Mom's Wig, I think, is what we have, which is giving us those spiders. That was a very confusing way to phrase that sentence. If you didn't understand what I was saying, it's not because it was technically complex. It's just because I sounded like an idiot as I was saying it. All right. Let's do this, Pestilence. You will be deceased in no time here. I guess that's like leftover Book of Belial shenanigans is why we got this. I'm thinking. What do we got for pills? Hematomesis. Paralysis. Let's have some fun. I'm going to take Judas' Shadow. And then I'm going to murder myself uh, on the blood bank, I suppose. Now, don't pick up the blood bag if it shows up. What am I doing here? I'm trying to kill myself to get Judas's shadow. Then we use hematomesis. And, uh... Oh. Well, this is still good if I can find a way to kill myself. We use hematomesis and probably get a lot of HP back. Yo, murder me. Murder me. Murder me. Let's leave, like, only one enemy alive. So that I'm more likely to get out of this, okay? Yo, I didn't mean to kill you. Okay, Dip. You're lucky day, buddy. I couldn't couldn't finish the job, man. There's got to be spikes or something around, though. We die. Come back with Judas' Shadow. Hematomesis. We get the blood bag. We get a huge damage bonus for basically nothing. Come on, there's got to be fire or... Oh, TNT. Huge. Okay, so now we should have a huge damage bonus, especially considering we got the Halo on this floor. And, uh... We pop Hematomesis. It only gave us one. That's enough to get a payout, though. And then, on top of that, we get uh, this and a lot of money. Was it worth it? It's still risky because of the, of the way Hematomesis didn't necessarily fully work out for us. But, uh... It's a good play, I think. And as long as we can get Red Hearts in the future, our life is going to be easier as a result of our actions. But there's no question that, at least in the uh, interim period here, every time we get hit, it's going to mean a little bit more. Man, I do not want a Rage Downgrade pill, please. Making spiders. Ooh, that was close. 
All right, we gotta hit enemies quickly. It would be better to use our own abilities here than Blue Baby's only friend, unless it's right next to them, in which case that's the option. We also have a Satanic Bible, of course, so that allows us to pull out of this HP tailspin pretty quickly. And all of a sudden, it's looking very solid, you know? It was risky there for a moment, but... You know, a lot of risky things in Isaac, when you actually take... You know, if you just think about them at first, you're like, Oh man, kill ourselves with a lot of HP to take Judas' shadow? It's a bad decision. Or it seems like a bad decision. Uh, but once you actually think about it, you know, you work through the moving parts and you're like, you know what, there's actually a lot of potential for us to get HP on this floor. Uh, would I trade this straight up? Would I trade 3 HP for a lot of damage? Yeah, probably. And that's the exact situation we're in right now, basically. And this will expedite the process of making our tiers better than uh, Blue Baby's only friend. We might still be a little bit away from that, but we're certainly closing in on it. If we're not there already. And two keys is nice. Obviously, uh, it's not looking too likely that boss rush is going to happen here. Way too slow for that. Cheated a little bit there to make that work, but it worked. Shears. It's a great item. Um, one of the best spacebar items. And underappreciated at that. However, mm, well, when we find our shop, we can make good use of this. But I want to keep our guppy dream alive for now. We'll just pick this up as we go in. But, you know... Store credit, it's not super important because we also have 46 cents. What do we want here? I mean, actually, you know what? It might be not, not the worst idea to buy the coin purse. Everything's half price as well because we have the Steam sale, but sure, we'll buy the coin purse. Why? It's the most expensive thing and we could get a hematomesis pill, which could give us uh, a spirit heart. It almost worked out according to plan. And a health up. Fantastic. Range down. Puberty. Could be worse. Another health down. We can take that with us for a health upgrade. We buy this. What's this one? Do we know this one? Paralysis. Just use it so we don't get confused. Uh, buy this. Buy this. Buy the most. Let the rhythm take you over by the most. Don't remember the rest of the words in the song. We're gonna live this life forever by the most. Track two on the Wild Wild West soundtrack. Don't ask me what track three is. Track 1, Wild Wild West. Track 2, Enrique Iglesias' breakout smash hit single, Bylamos. Track 3, nobody knows. Track 3 is Wild Wild West again, as far as I'm concerned. This looks like a secret room location. Not maybe the most efficient use of a bomb. Pay three cents for a bomb, kill a boss, get uh, five cents back. It's kind of a inefficient money laundering prospect for us here, but it's okay. That's the first damage we've taken in a while. I don't feel too bad about that. This appears to be the right way to go. I'm going to start uh, probably speeding up a little bit just because we can. Let's see if we get a deal with the devil here. Oh, actually that. We got to go back for that spirit heart. Probably, obviously. Way to go, uh, my best friend or punching bag. I always get you confused. That's not really that exciting, but it does make our ability to fire a little bit better than uh, Blue Baby's only... Oh, there's a tinted rock, but we didn't have a bomb anyway. It's okay. All right. Depths 2. Necropolis 2. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We have an arcade and no demon judgment, but that's okay. So we can play this. And we can get into our boss trap room. Should be a lot of red chests because of the left hand. This must be in some kind of new record uh, to have the left hand and have picked up no guppy items. We had left hand and Book of Belial, and we have no guppy items. Amazingly. Unless we re-rolled into them without me actually having knowledge of it. I really wish that these shots just pierced. I love rubber cement. I hate I hate shit-talking it in any way, shape, or form, but... Death's Touch, it has a purity to it with the piercing shots that it, it makes it so easy to, to love. And um, I, st I do still love it. I appreciate the damage bonus, and I appreciate the piercing ability. But rubber cement is fucking with it a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. I don't know what is doing that extra damage there. Maybe our uh, the hitbox on our tiers allowed us to hit both of those waves at the same time. I appreciate it either way. One thing that really helps with Death's, Death's Touch is we have a huge hitbox. So items like Dead Onion that make it even larger, Polyphemus, Proptosis, huge damage upgrades, etc., etc., can make the tier large enough where basically it can just hit enemies all across like a normal-sized room just from the origin, wherever we fire it from. Man, super happy. Get the Pact, huge help. I think that this is a one run. Oh, Northern Line, you got super lucky on this run, how you nutted up and had that six room 
We rolled a run that was pretty decent into a run that was amazing. I mean, I guess we did get lucky, but you know. If you win the lottery, you, you're lucky, but you had to also play the lottery. It's not just like you were selected at random. You know, those are the rules of engagement here. I could really use that, actually. Uh, I took way more damage on that Mask of Infamy room than I'd like to admit, but... I got really confused with, with all the moving parts on the screen. This is not good damage. We should have a shop. We haven't been to our shop yet. Yeah, we should have a shop. We can go to this shop, and uh, on said shop... Hopefully accomplish some good things. You know what, we should do like a couple rooms before we come back here because of the battery charge. Um, that's a magician card, presumably. Mr. Boom? That's just god-awful. I'm assuming that we'll be able to get to the HP cap if we get a deal with the devil, because the health down pill... I mean, you know the deal at this point. <laughs> the health down pill will become a health up pill. No greed, no greed, no greed, no greed. Okay, buy this. Buy this. Buy Lamos. Sharp plug? Okay. The candle. You know what? We have Dark Bum. Why not go with the... Why not go with the candle? Do we know this pill? Oh, it's two health downs. Won't be able to make that work. That's alright. Three cents wasted. We're, we're building up our donation machine again. Why do you build me up? Eating, baby, just to blow me up. Doesn't really rhyme, and then worst of all... You take all of my money, baby doll. I don't know, there is just the joke ended up not working in the end. But I love your ball, I need you. More than anyone, darling, you know that I have from the start. Build me up, northern lion, don't you dare fart. I'm figuring why do we need two uh, spirit art generators when we'd probably much more benefit from uh, a little bit of extra damage on top of what we got going on here. You may disagree. I love sacrificial dagger. Well, I do love sacrificial dagger. I love um, satanic bible. See, they both sort of started with an S. Uh, we have infestation 2? Have we had infestation 2 this whole time and I've been like, why are we generating spiders? I think it's probably because of Mom's wig. No, we don't have Infestation 2. We just generate a lot of spiders, weirdly, at the same time. But I can appreciate it. Okay, Polaroid. No, don't give me the Krampus fight. I want to use this health down pill effectively. Head of Krampus is damaged, but Blue Candle is going to be more reliable. All right. This is a very, very, very winnable run. All we need to do... Well, Curse of the Unknown, a little scary, but all we need to do is is take it home, you know? Dad drove us back on the highway, on the interstate, during the rain. All we gotta do is park it. At this point, I, uh, but we don't have that much. We only have two or three red hearts at most. Probably better off taking the health down to see if it works. I don't know. It's, it's not a huge difference either way, I think. We'll take health down, just because it's more clever. If it works, you know, I'll get more style points. All we gotta do is pilot this one into the garage, and uh, if and when we make it, just gotta beat an Isaac run, and that takes us to a 20 streak. Good week, man. 20 streak means 10 days on the channel without a loss. Three flies. Two bombs for three flies. Uh, could be worse, but not good. And then, once we get to 20... It's all about 20, well, haha, <laughs> if we get to 20. It's all about 25. 25, I think, was the value of that amazing streak. My most amazing streak, at least, that I had uh, before Kate and I were away for a little while. And if I could ma manage to match that, yeah, we'll take it. If I could manage to match that and then surpass it, I would feel good. Because, you know, it's not nice knowing your best... Like, that's got to suck about being a professional athlete. Not that I am a professional athlete. But I think I can sympathize to some extent because my performance is at least, like, on trial and noted, right? Like, you can tell, oh, this is a slump. You can tell this is a, a hot streak. It must suck to be, like, a professional athlete and be like, man, my best season was 12 years ago. I'm picking this up because fuck you, Dark Bum, for now. Soon, I will require your services. Um, you know, like, oh, my best season was 12 years ago. Like, that that sucks, man. My best run in Isaac was in January. January! That's like four months ago, going on five months ago. Um, 
I don't want to be Mr. January for the rest of the year. I want my best streak to be now, always. And of course, that's not physically possible. I mean, the longer a streak gets, the harder it gets to build it back up. So if you get up to like, you know, 50 wins, it's going to take you a whole month just to get back there. But, you know, 25, less than half a month of two videos a day. Oh, we can do it. Was it worth it? Not even close. We didn't even get the Tinted Rock. I, I want it, and I think, uh, I hope that's apparent with my zeal for recording the game right now. And I'm, uh, I'm happy to be playing Isaac. We're out of a slump, and there's no way uh, to feel better about getting out of a slump and just steamrolling the shit out of the game. Do we have shielded tears? Mm, hard to tell. Disappointed. No, uh, no deal with the devil. Health down just remains a health down pill. It's okay, though. Just stay sharp. We're at the HP cap. That can change. Well, we're near the HP cap. That can change. Should definitely pick up that bomb. We have presently zero. Why not pick up the penny? Uh, you, got, you raise a great point. I have no defense. That's a golden key? I think that's a golden key. Golden key should open all rooms, man. It should make it so you can get into that room. It's only fair. I love that argument in video games. I've used it all the time, so don't feel bad if I if you feel like I'm going to put you on blast here. But when people like play a game and then they make an argument, I still do this all the time, and I'm guilty of it, and I always feel silly after I think about it. But they'll play a game that doesn't have a mechanic that they expect, and they'll be like, well, in reality, it, it should work like this. And you're like, well, you know, it's a game. It's got to be gamified. You know, it's balanced and stuff like that. Like, no, no, no. But, yo, how can, how can the person in Skyrim have, like, unlimited carrying capacity except like up to a superhuman level uh, yeah. you're breaking my immersion man you know like the the immersion school of game design like that's the only thing that matters anyway I, I think it's just what i get to is it's a lazy critique is that it doesn't it feels motivated by like ignorance of the actual mechanics of, of the game rather than by this is not fun or if it isn't fun you know there's a better way to explain it it's like what I always fall back to is saying, and I hate myself for it, but there's, you know, that standard saying in, like, games criticism, like, well, if you're a fan of the genre, you might find yourself enjoying this. Like, it's an inherently meaningless sentence I hate saying, but I use it all the time. Because it's true, though, I think. But I, I... Generally, it's like using the word like. You know, when people are having a conversation, they'll be like, hey, you know, he was like blah, 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 and he was like blah, blah, blah. It's like that. It works in communication, but there's probably a better way to say it. I'm working on being more deliberate in my communication whenever possible, at least. And that's been a rant that probably will, no one will care about, but you get the idea. Yo, I mean, I'm doing over 500 of these episodes. There's going to be some conversations that uh, are not specifically relevant to anybody at all, I guess. Smart idea right there. Really good play. Oh, yeah, we traded our health down for a range down. Don't think that that's going to be particularly strong for us. I got lucky. I thought that champion might fire in both directions. We've lost a little bit more HP than I'd like to admit here. Almost lost more there. Oh, come on. Give me some spirit hearts, man. We're not in a dire position, but I would very much like some spirit hearts just to simplify it. This is one of those... And that's not going to help, but this is one of those runs that looks really good until things go terribly wrong. I'm not trying to, you know, scum it up and, and build some false drama or anything like that. There's just, you know, a very... It, it's a real chance. It's not the highest chance. But there's a real chance that we take too much damage and die on this run. If our chest sucks and I do terribly on the cathedral, it could happen. So, this is important. This is what it all comes down to. Let's buckle down and not take bullshit damage. Fuck curse rooms for now. We're not going to become guppy. The odds of us getting ceremonial robes or something like that is pretty low. Just... Our goal for this floor, flat out, take no damage. And definitely don't, don't take damage from walking on fucking spikes. That's the worst, man. Callus is a little baby trinket that I should not be concerned about. Also extremely important, let's not forget we've had Hive Mind all... Or not Hive Mind, we've had Left Hand. Now I'm getting... That's how my brain is now confusing items, is they have the same number of characters divided into similarly sized substrings. That was a sentence that has never come out of my mouth before, as you could probably tell by the way I jumbled the words. Um, 
Do you see the size of this fucking... Oh, that's my scythe. <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, what kind of demon fucking champion from hell is this that summons scythes that large? Um, so we have to drop the left hand. I mean, that's my very fancy pants way of saying we have to drop the left hand. Let's not forget it. Sure, we could get some spirit hearts. We could get some uh, guppy items. We could get Guppy's Paw and then actually turn our long-lost health down pill into a health up pill if we still had it, RIP. However, it's a bad idea. It's not reliable and we could really, really use the items that we get down there instead. Left hand has been like a real piece of shit for us in this run. Uh, luckily, I guess it's a mob trap room instead of a boss trap room, so I think we're dealing with easier bosses. Yeah, we're dealing with the, the monstros of the world instead of, you know, maybe Mega Moss, something that could hit me with a little bit more reliability. Plenty of keys. If we got good luck, we can really uh, make those worth something on the next floor. And I'm still, you know, loving the value we're getting out of uh, Blue Baby's only friend here. We fucking have Juicy Sack, and I was complaining about... Or I was not complaining, but I was like, where's the spiders coming from? I don't get it. Okay. We use Hematomesis here. One is disappointing. The th thank you for it paying out efficiently. You don't always do it. I like to say thank you when you do do it. In my defense, Juicy Sack, not one of those items that, you know, you're really like, Mom, I got Juicy Sack, we win. Get the camera, etc., etc. Mom, procure the photoelectric development device. That could still be the secret room. I gotta check. If it's not, we're not going to that room. It's as simple as that. High Priestess helps. Um... We'll use it immediately because, you know, the, the cathedral tends to be a little harder than the chest. Or at least that's our hope, is that the cathedral's harder than the chest because we get so many good items on the chest that it just sorts itself out. Hmm, not very smart. So I'm going to leave Blue Baby's only friend over there. Because, in theory, <laughs> it allows me to dodge better. And that is, like, definitely not working out thus far. Oh, knock him back into it. Yeah, that was beautiful. Okay, we've taken a lot of damage, and all of a sudden, uh, we were looking really good. I was feeling very pleased with my performance on the uh, on the cathedral thus far. Now we find ourselves in a much trickier position. Give me, like, Little Chub, man. Little Chub wins us this run. We should win it anyway. If we lose, it's, it's poor play. I'm feeling the heartbreak already. Use it as a motivator. I didn't drop the left hand. Oh! All is forgiven! How fitting! Was it worth it? I think it I think it was fucking worth it. I fucking think it was worth it. I think forgetting to drop the left hand won us the run. Now that being said, drop the shit out of it now. <laughs> you know, lightning doesn't strike twice. It might literally strike twice. I'm using it as a po you know a poetic a rhetoric device. I don't need your, your science, because y'all motherfuckers lying and getting me pissed. Now, let's not blow it. That was really the only item th that would have given me basically a guaranteed win. Were it not for... Like, even nine lives doesn't do it for us. Give me a key beggar. I don't think we're going to find many chests. Golden chests, at least. This is fine. Magic mush. Good pills. I don't care. Hematomesis. I can't believe it. I, I really am kind of in awe that not dropping the left hand has worked out for us. Three puberty pills. A hematomesis pill. This one paid out with three. Oh, I had to... Oh, get out of there. I had to get close to the edge to really appreciate how important this one was. Alright. Little bit of a scare there on run number 19. But this is going to turn out to be a victory. Especially, like, with all this invincibility... Man, this is a crowning moment for me. This is its not one of the best Rebirth runs I've ever had, necessarily, but it's one of the most satisfying feelings I've had. We haven't even won yet, but it's definitely one of the most satisfying feeling Rebirth runs I've ever had. I feel great right now. And it could have... <laughs> it was so close to me losing this streak that I've been so proud of because of holding on to the left hand. Again, I'm not going to try to defend that that was the right decision, we mostly just got lucky. But, uh... Whew. Thank you for not, you know, RNGesus. 
We haven't always been on the best terms. Thank you for not completely fucking me as a result of my idiocy. Oh, uh, one of them. It. We wanted them both to aggro me, actually. It would have been much better, but... Oh, that... My best friends... Thank you for your service, but also fuck off, okay? Now, we have not won yet. We've chosen completely the wrong direction here. If we get any HP back, we can get three more Spirit Hearts. So that should incent... Well, we should kill Gluttony last in every available situation anyway. Because we can turn the Red Hearts into Spirit Hearts via Dark Bomb. But uh, also, if we get, like, Lard, we can turn that into six Spirit Hearts. Oh, we already have Piercing Shots. That's okay. I was really happy for a minute. I was like, oh, piercing shots, finally. Oh, beautiful room for Death's Touch Rubber Cement. All is forgiven, Rubber Cement. We did it. We did it together. I'm that star up in the sky. I'm that mountain way up high. I'm glad I made it. The world's greatest. Mostly the world's luckiest. But the world's greatest lucky man, maybe. I can get a mug made with that. Oh, Gluttony dies last. Rubber Cement, don't fuck me on this one, okay? Very easy for you to reflect, deflect some shots into Gluttony. I'd rather you didn't. I'm not gonna go back and uh, and turn this into Spirit Arts until the end. It's not like we're on Horror Babylon, so... We do get a little bit of permanent Polaroid invincibility every time we get hit, but... Not a, uh, not an enormous boost, considering we're gonna win anyway. And yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna finish the job, because it allows me to be a little cocky. And, you know, I think we, we could use that bravado coming into the next run. Feels good, man. Ooh. How does it feel to be the luckiest man in the world? Just like any other day, I suppose. This will push the streak to 19. And we'll be doing an Isaac run next, so I have very high hopes of this being only my second 20 streak ever. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.